is Alex Avila. Many of you may know me as a professor, community organizer, photographer, videographer, you name it, publisher. But my heart and my roots stem from organizing. And I learned to organize when I was 13, 14 years old out of the Bronx in New York City out of a place called All Saints Lutheran Church. In this location, the reason why I got involved was there was an epidemic happening during that time frame. And it was the AIDS epidemic. I saw firsthand a lot of my friends lose their family, their parents, dad, mother, uncle, sister, to the AIDS epidemic that was happening during that time period. We gave out pamphlets, we gave out condoms, workshops, we did whatever we did or needed to do to help our community at that time. Now, of course, 25 years later, the Bronx is in a much better place given the technology and the advancement of information. But it's sad to say that 25 years later, though, that these issues are still prevalent. I've connected with a community in Kenya, that's right, Kenya and Africa, where this population of over 3,000 people live in this population, in this community. And one of the most devastating things that I've heard, and also in talking to some of these folks and these residents living in this community, is that the orphanages, that there's a lot of young people who've lost their families. Over 65% of the orphans lost their parents due to Ebola, AIDS, and now COVID-19. That's right, over 65% of these young people have lost their family members, again, to AIDS, Ebola, and now COVID-19. I partnered up with the St. Mark's Community Group. The St. Mark's Community Group is looking to build community center, which will be called the St. Mark's Community Center. The St. Mark's Community Center will be an orphanage, a medical facility, and also a resource center. Let me say that again. The St. Mark's Community Center will be an orphanage, a medical facility, and a resource center for the people living in a small village in Kenya. Please join me and donate whatever you have, dollar, 50 cents, five dollars, hundred dollars, whatever's in your will to help this community thrive. Just recently, the community has helped build a well so folks can have water and has figured out how to raise funds to get a transformer so they can use electricity. When you donate, your money will be secure. You can use a PayPal account and you can also use a cash app. There's ways to monitor your funds and you'll have someone reach out to you immediately when you donate and also keep you up to date about where your funds are going and how it's helping the community. Your funds can go again to the Community Resource Center called the St. Mark's Community Center. Again, over 65% of these young people have lost their parents due to AIDS, Ebola, and now COVID-19. Help me help them bring them to the 21st century with the proper resources so they can be successful.